Hello everyone, it's Hunter and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, it is so nice to meet you. In today's video, we are going over my monthly goals. I do this video at the beginning of every single month. I keep them all in this notebook right here. We go over my previous month and then we talk about the next month. So that's what's happening today. If you are new here, I would love it if you guys would subscribe to my channel down below and give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. That was the fastest intro I have ever done in my life. Okay, I wanna talk about imposter syndrome. And I looked it up so that I could give you guys like an accurate definition, I guess. Um, so Google says that it is loosely defined as doubting your abilities and feeling like a fraud. It disproportionately affects high people who find it difficult to accept their accomplishments and many question whether they're deserving of accolades. So before I really talk about my goals for the past month that I have accomplished, I have kind of been feeling like a fraud recently and I didn't really know Know that imposter syndrome was what I was feeling until I started thinking about it. I was like, what is imposter syndrome? I looked it up and I, I really, really relate to that feeling right now because for seven years, it took me six years. It took me six years to get 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. And in the last six months, I have gained so many subscribers, so many views. Um, my watch time has gone up so much. My revenue has been crazy compared to the past. I just really feel like like a fraud and I'm not doing anything fraudulently. Don't worry, I'm not buying my followers, I'm not buying my views, I'm not buying any of it. And everything has come so organically and I am just absolutely blown away by the support that I have, but I also feel like it's just all gonna come crashing down at some point, which you'll see in a minute is why I set my goals so low, if that makes sense. Like I just feel like there's going to come a point where people are gonna stop watching my videos, they're gonna stop subscribing, or they're going to stop supporting me. They're not gonna follow me on Instagram. They're not gonna wanna watch anything. They're just gonna leave hate comments because I do get some hate comments about how quickly I talk um, and about my energy in these videos. But I usually just let them roll off my back because they don't really bother me. I know that I'm high energy in my videos because I don't want you guys to get bored of me. But I just feel like at some point the growth is gonna stop and it's gonna be disappointing. Um, and I feel like it's, and I know that the growth is not always going to be crazy fast. I know I'm not going to continue to gain 100 subscribers a day day for infinitely but it's just like the thought that it used to take me months to get a hundred subscribers and during the month of January and even the beginning of February I was gaining a hundred subscribers a day and even right now I'm gaining like 50 subscribers a day 50 to 75 so my growth has just been astronomical and don't get me wrong I am so 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 grateful and I never in a million years thought I would even hit 10,000 subscribers so the fact that it's continued to go beyond that is absolutely amazing to me um, and just thank you so much to everyone who subscribed and watched my videos. But my view count and just like all of my analytics have been so, so, so much higher than they've ever been before. And it makes me feel like I don't deserve what I'm doing because I've been working my butt off for the last six and a half years on my channel and nothing's really happened. So for something to just like start happening, like is this the time for my channel? Is this when my channel is just going to get bigger, I guess? Is this going to be something that's incredibly successful for me or am I gonna continue to feel like I'm putting in so much work and getting very little reward just because I absolutely love what I do and I don't know it just I don't know it feels like it's just happening really quickly and I can't grasp the concept of it if that makes sense so with that being said let's go ahead and reflect on February because February was a big month lots of things happened I'm filming this on February 23rd so there are still five days left in this month there's 28 days in February so there's still a good bit of time left in this month five days a lot can happen in five days but for now we're just gonna talk about where I where I'm at where I'm going and all that fun stuff so let me pull out February here we go so at the beginning of this month well Okay, let me back up. I always set a subscriber goal at the beginning of every month. And whenever this month started on the very first day of this month, so as you can see, I'm filming this five days before the end of the month. And like I said, a lot can happen in five days. At the time that I filmed my February goals video and whenever I made my February goals video, there were still like five days left in that month. And I ended up gaining a lot more subscribers than I thought towards the end of the month. So that's why I started with 9,413 subscribers. And that's why my goal was only 9,500 subscribers because I gained a lot more than I thought. 
into the month. Um, I'm pretty sure I hit 9,500 subscribers on February 2nd. So that was really quick. Um, so I did reach that goal. And as of right now, I checked it a few minutes ago. I have 10,820, which is absolute madness. And this is where imposter syndrome plays in. I had just about 9,000, I think, whenever I set this goal. So my goal was to reach 500 and I have surpassed that by over a thousand, almost 1,500. So lots happening there. <laughs> um, next, I had a goal of 600,000 total views on my channel. Um, I started the month with 583,000. Again, uh, I gained a lot of views towards the end of January that I was not expecting. So that is why that's where I was at. But I definitely hit that goal. I'm not sure what day I hit it, but let me look at my analytics really quickly so I can tell you what I'm at. Okay, I'm currently at 627,000, which is 27,000 more than I was expecting. So it's probably going to be about 630 by the time this month is over, which is way more than I was expecting. Um, and then I said I wanted to post on Instagram 10 times, TikTok 10 times, go to the gym 10 times. This is a goal I have every single month. Um, I'm going to adjust those this month though, because I suck. I don't think I posted on TikTok at all this month so far. No, I haven't. And I'm most likely not going to. So let me go to Instagram. Um, I did post on Instagram some this month. Let's see. I posted on February 2nd, February 11th, February 12th, the 14th, and five days ago. I could probably get a few more posts in, but that's one, two, three, that's five. So that's halfway to my goal. Um, and I've been to the gym five times instead of 10. So that kind of sucks, but I'm going to readjust my goals for March because I have had the goal of 10 times on Instagram, TikTok, and 10 times to the gym for the last several months. And I have not met that goal once. So I thought maybe let's readjust for the coming month. Next, I have a goal for the year to read 120 books, which is 10 books a month. So as long as I read 10 books a month, I don't really care how many I read. So this month so far, I'm almost done with book 13 for the month. This has been a slower month for books for me because I read 20 in January and I read like 23 in December. So this has been a slower month for me, but so far I've read 13. I have not written them all down, but I will read to you the ones that I have written down so far. Um, so I've read The Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood, Finding Cinderella by Colleen Hoover, All the Ugly and Wonderful Things by Bryn Greenwood, Joss and Gemma Make a Baby by Sarah Reddy, Hashtag Follow Me for Murder by Sarah E. Burr, Maybe We Should by Melissa Foster, Good is Dead by Susan Walter, Meet Me in the Margins by Melissa Ferguson, Tools of Engagement by Tessa Bailey, You'll Be the Death of Me by Karen M. McManus, and then there were a couple of others that I can't remember the names. Um, I'm currently reading uh, Not So Meet Cute by Megan Quinn. My Kindle's over there, so that's why I was looking over there. And then my next goal was to get $200 in AdSense because I got like almost 500 in January. So I was like, well, if we can just like get over 200, that'd be great. And right now I'm at a little over 400. I think 417 was what it was yesterday. That's super exciting. So thank you guys so much. You guys are seriously allowing me by watching my videos, you're allowing me to pay my bills with my YouTube channel. And that makes me really excited because that means that I can do less other side work because I have YouTube to help me out a little bit. And the last real goal I had for February was to stay on budget of $500 on my credit card and I failed miserably at that. So we're not going to talk about how much money I spent. We're just going to move on to setting my goals for March. So let's go ahead, move over to my desk. We'll write stuff down and get to moving. tripod actually sucks. Every time I put my camera on it, it's so wiggly. <laughs> Drives me nuts. Okay, so I, oh, sorry. So I went ahead and actually filled out the rest of the books that I read so far in February. So the other two that I missed were The Paid Bridesmaid by Soraya Wilson and The Flash Share by Beth O'Leary. And if you guys want an in-depth review and description of these books, I post a book wrap-up review kind of thing as the second video of the month every single month. So you guys can check that out once that gets up. But March goals. Let's go. So based on March goals, let's just talk about my March goals. First of all, I tried to set my goals a little bit higher, but I also, again, don't want to set them too high because I will disappoint myself if I don't reach them. So for subscribers, my goal is to have 11,500 subscribers. At this current moment in time, I have 10,800 subscribers. So that means that I think by the end of this month, I'm going to have 11,000, if not at the very beginning of March. 
so I think 11,500 is a reasonable but also like pushing myself a little bit more kind of goal if that makes sense so that's the subscriber goal next is to have 650,000 views that doesn't seem like a lot it's only like 20,000 which is I've made I don't know I should have made that a higher goal but that's my goal for now now I did reevaluate some of these goals I did reevaluate some of my goals so some of them are ones that I have every single month but instead of doing them the same that I always do I decided to switch them up a little bit so I want to post on Instagram seven times because I did it five times this month two more is not that much more I want to post on TikTok five times five times more than I posted this month and then I want to go to the gym seven times which is two times more than what I've done that's definitely reasonable I should do it I can do it I know I can and then for reading 10 books again that's always a goal of mine but I put in parentheses that at least half of them be physical books um you guys can't really see it but I have a bookshelf down here I have a bunch of books right here and I need to read literally all of them so not all of them but there are some of them most of them I have not read yeah so on this first row of books there's like three rows of books on this first row I've read three of the books on the shelf and there's three rows and I haven't read most of them so I really need to get into my physical books so I want at least five out of the ten that I read to be physical books and then for every Kindle book I read it needs to be a Kindle book I mean a physical book so if I end up reading like 12 books I need to read six physical books if that makes sense just because I am ridiculous and download on Kindle Unlimited and then read all of those and neglect all of these physical copies that I have right here so I definitely need to get on that so that is a new goal for my me one that I want to do is to be less lazy with my editing I feel like I have been kind of slacking on my editing a little bit and kind of rushing through it because I have been like running out of time or I've been lazy and not posting or like not editing it in enough time not leaving myself enough time to edit at a less lazy way so that normally it's like oh I just need to get this done so I do it really quickly don't add anything cool don't add any text and I get overwhelmed by how how cool I want it to be but how much time I don't have uh, because I waited till the last minute to do it so that's the goal here like today is Wednesday and I haven't posted my video yet even though I have video up on Wednesday and I usually try to put them up at 11 a.m but I decided to be less lazy on the editing so I decided to take a break from my editing last night because I was kind of just like not really into it so I decided to wait until I was in a better mindset so that I could do that if that makes sense and then I want to spend less money overall just spending less money my credit card bill needs to be way lower so there's that um I want to make $200 in AdSense again and I want to get at least one sponsorship because I have not had a sponsorship in a hot minute I need to email a brand back so I'm hoping we'll get something worked out moving forward into March hopefully we'll have a cool sponsored video coming soon but I would really like to reach out to the social media revenue that I have kind of do a little bit more because I feel like the sponsorships I really want to do them because I love talking about products I talk about them all the time and I would love to work with brands that I love so that is kind of why I want to do that also which is really exciting when you've been working your butt off for so long to finally get like some recognition from brands that'd be cool anyway that is all I have for today's video if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and I will see you guys in my next video bye